morning guys good morning um so again i'm sorry for the list but i have my retainers in again um i don't have any whitening stuff in this time it's just to try and keep my teeth straight because i've noticed that they've started moving a lot um so i'm about to upload yesterday's vlog right and i put five feet apart which is the book i'm reading currently in the title and it automatically demonetizes the video and i was like are you kidding me because it's to do with like cystic fibrosis and stuff and I was like surely not and then I took five feet apart out of the title and it was monetized again anyway I've uh, left it in the title because well I think it's important to get awareness out there and I think it's disgusting that they're making they're demonetizing the video anyway I'm leaving it in the title anyway and I'm gonna publish the video and I'm just gonna request them to manually check it so basically they can manually review your video and see if it's suitable or not just because it has five feet apart in the title I'm leaving it in there I don't care what they say like I'd rather just it not be monetized that's so stupid and I need to go pick up a package from the post office um, no idea what it is so we shall find out Anyway, I'm going to go pick up my package that I have to go pick up today. I'm wearing uh, this kind of, it's kind of like a half off the shoulder type um, jumper thing with some shorts. Because it's kind of, not cold, but it's cool-ish today. I don't know why the aircon keeps coming on. I think it's on automatic or something, where it just randomly comes on if it gets above a certain temperature. But it's not even hot today. Like, it's cool in the house. Um, I'm going to film my medical storage tour when I get back. Well, when I get back, I'm going to take out these retainers because where the heck is my bag? Because I don't want to sound really lispy for the video. So I'm just going to make sure I have my ID. Yep, car keys. And let's go. Yeah, I can't really think what I've ordered. Like, there's not anything that I can, like, think of right this second that I know I've ordered. So I'm just trying to think of what it could be. It's probably just medical supplies. So I'm going to go get this. And we'll see what it is. Guys, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's my YouTube play button. I am so excited. Like, it says YouTube on it, but I can't show you because it has got my address. Okay, I'm going to get home so I can open it. But I'm, ha I'm going to have to open it on camera because I want to put it on my main channel to say, like, thank you. But I'm so excited. This is crazy. What? But when I hit a hundred, well, if I hit a hundred thousand on this channel, I will do a like unboxing on this channel for that play button. Someone's calling me. Who is it? Hang on, guys. I gotta answer this. Guys, look how amazing is this? You can see me, but oh my days! This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like this is incredible. I just want to say thank you because I know half of my subscribers that are subscribed to my vlog channel are also subscribed to my main channel. So I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone on this channel that follows me on my main channel because I know not everyone likes the kind of content that I put on my main channel. But I just want to thank you, each and every one of you that have uh, supported me and subscribed to my main channel and have helped me get this because this literally means the world to me. And yeah, thank you so much, guys. I love you to bits. The dogs haven't even started barking yet. Yes. And no. No. Have you been trumping? <laughs> yes. Very bad smelly fart. <laughs> Did it smell like she'd actually pooed? Hmm? Did it smell like she'd actually pooed or just a bad no, fart? It smelled really bad. Terrible diarrhea. Oh. Ugh. Oh, it's awful. It's okay, baby. It happens. Hello. Right. Hey, guys. So we just had the funniest night. I haven't vlogged because it's the last few weeks of my grandparents. And I'm just trying to spend some time with them. And I don't want to have to, you know, put the pressure on myself for vlogging. Tom's over the road getting in his car. So just about to head home now. Um... I have literally been glued to my um, five feet apart book. It is brilliant. There are a few things where I'm like, hmm, in the real world, that probably won't be allowed. But there's also a lot of accurate representation, like with feeding tubes and like ports and Hickmans and stuff like that. And that's what I'm loving about it so far. And I do realize there is a lot that is, you know, inaccurately represent, 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 represented, represented. I don't know if that's the right word, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been loving, loving the book. Um, 
wonderful night. I've had such a good time spending it with my grandparents and I'm gonna be so sad to see them leave, but it's not gonna be too much longer before Tom and I go back to England to see everyone. It, not this Christmas, next Christmas, so 2020. So, so I just hope that they're still around for that because I'd be devastated if, you know, they're getting old now and I'd be really, really upset if they, you know, I lost them before I got the chance to go home and see them again. Um, but I'd always, always, with everybody I see, even friends now, I always treat it like it's the last time that I'm gonna see them because, you know, you never know with life and I think that's the way to treat everyone. Just make sure you tell them that you love them and you say goodbye and stuff like that. I knew the lights were gonna change, I knew it. Tom's right behind me as well. I think I purposely break so that he can have a chance to catch up. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say that I had a brilliant night. I've had such a good time spending time with my grandparents. I'm gonna make sure I see them as much as I can over the next like week and a half. Anyway, I'm on my way home now, so I will see you guys when I get home. Ah, so you weren't even returning. No! Okay. <laughs> I dropped one of my boxes, so I'm looking a little bit upset and I'm about to tell you why. You might not be able to tell, but in the light, you can see all the streaks in my makeup. So basically, while we were driving home, I was in the front of Tom, as I said to you guys, that like Tom was behind me. Um, and then at one of the sets of traffic lights, at one of the sets of the traffic lights, um, it turned amber and I went through because in England, if it turns amber, it literally goes green. I mean, it goes amber and then red like straight after. But here, amber is kind of stays on for like five seconds or something. So you actually have time to go through the lights on amber. Anyway, long story short, I got through the lights and Tom didn't. And then I was waiting for them to change behind me, like in my like mirror, and I couldn't see them change. Anyway, then I started to freak out and my brain, because this is like an OCD thing. My brain told me that because Tom didn't go through that set of lights with me, when the lights turned green, he was gonna go through and get sideswiped and die, basically. So then I started panicking. I tried calling him and he didn't answer straight away, so then it made me panic even more. I'd pulled over at this point. Like, I would never drive in a state like that. I pulled over into like a little petrol station that was like literally right off, like after the set of lights. And then I, and then he answered and I was like crying and I was like, Tom, oh my God, like, like I explained to him like why I was thinking and how I was feeling and what I thought was gonna happen. And he was like, it's okay, it's all right. And he's like, you pulled over? And I said, yes. And then he, after the lights turned green, he went and like, we keep, you know, called up to me and got, went in the petrol station with me. And we just kind of sat in the parking lot and I cried and I admitted that I need to go see my doctor tomorrow because that was, you know, clearly whatever I'm doing at the moment is not helping my OCD at all. If anything, it seems to be getting more intense. Like, I have full-on breakdowns about it. And this is so hard for me to talk about. But I feel it's important because when I opened up about it in the other vlog, you, there were so many of you out there that were in the exact same situation. And I just want you to know that you're not alone. And even though, you know, afterwards it might seem silly that you got upset about that. But in the moment, it feels so real. Like, I honestly thought I was never going to see Tom again. And, like, the thought of that scares me so much. Anyway. I don't want to get into it because it's really a stressful situation. Anyway. So, we kind of just talked in the um, petrol station for a bit. And, uh, until I felt better. And then I followed him home the rest of the way home. Um because I didn't want to be in front in case we got stuck at a set of lights again. So anyway, now that that's over, I don't want to ruin my happy day because I've had an amazing day. I got my YouTube play button and I had an amazing like um, evening with my family. Um, however, I got my delivery of catheters. So this is what a full box looks like in case anybody's wondering. It looks like this. And you get 30 in a box. So I'm just going to restock the drawer that I keep them in, which is this one here. As you can see, there's not many left. There is like two rows of three. So there's like six left. So that's like two days worth. I can probably keep about one pack in there. So like 30-ish. And then the rest I just keep in my stock, which will either go behind this drawer or in my one of the boxes behind me. I'll probably just put it in one of the boxes. Probably put it in this box here. 
because this is rubbish. This is the rubbish box. That's my IV fluids, and that's like this is pretty deep though. This one, and this has got like dressing packs, IV packs, all that. So, oh. so that's that done, sorted for another few months. Oh. Yeah. Do cows only belly? Do cows only belly? <gasps> what? I thought I stepped on your toe. No. It's your hands. Oh. I know. <laughs> Why is I think it was after I was crying, like my body got really cold. I think it was like the panic of it all. I wasn't getting enough blood to the body. You know, like you got freaking soot all over your face as well. Where soot? It's the, the mascara scars. that was running. Soot? I haven't been climbing in chimneys. <laughs> what is that? What was it? Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim 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 chim. chim. <laughs> You're tired. You're tired. It's Tommy's tired. Things that make you go, hmm, 110% effort on this one. Why are Apple Watch chargers longer than an iPhone charger? Things that make you go, hmm. That literally just happened. I was trying to plug in my Apple Watch and I said, why do they make the Apple Watch? If those of you that don't own an Apple Watch, let me just show you. Like, do you see this? Like, it's not even fully taut. Like, it is humongous. Probably the same size as my IV pole, for reference. If I was to actually pull it out straight. And I'm like, it's not like you can wear it while it's charging. And yet they, the phone ones, you can go on your phone while it's charging. And, like, they barely reach. Like, luckily my thing's right there. But my old bedroom, like, my phone charger didn't reach. I had to get, like, an extension cord. Um, and it was only at the wall. But, um, anyway. Things make go, hmm. So... Tom's super tired, he's about to go to sleep. I'm just, you know, snuggled down. I'm reading my book, which I could easily have read this in one night back in the day, but now it takes me ages, so I'm just reading that. I'm feeling a lot better now that I've had a chance to calm down and take a breather. Um, I might be seeing Rachel tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure yet. It just depends what time the TPN guys deliver my stuff. I also need to ring out, ring the hospital to find out what's happening on Monday because no one has given me any information. If they still want to do the colonoscopy, I haven't started the prep, like, it's just a bit ridiculous. I have a feeling it's not going to end up happening on Monday, because I literally have no information about it. Um, and no one, I've contacted them and no one's contacted me back, so I'm, I don't know. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But what I'm not doing is I'm not going to go in for one procedure and not the other, because I'm not going to go under general anaesthetic twice. There's no need. So, if they don't do it on Monday, I'm going to be like, right reschedule it, figure out the plan is, what the plan is and how we're going to do the prep and then we can do both at the same time so it's up to them, they can figure it out like I said earlier guys, thank you so much for 100,000 on my main channel I've currently put the little plaque up at the top there but I do planning either putting it above the bed or on the wall there I haven't decided yet um, but I'll be getting some screws and stuff or hooks over the weekend and sort that out but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. If you did enjoy this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and let me know if you have read this book, what your th thoughts are. I would love to know. Um, yeah, good night guys, and I will see you tomorrow.